What's up, y'all, bro? We thugging it out. You hear me? We at night, y'all, bro. Night, y'all. Look, bro. PSA. Bro. Yo people nowadays, bro. They don't love you. They don't love you. Because they know what's going on, bro. And they're going to tell you to go take the shot. You feel me? They know what's going on, bro. And they'll tell you to go back to work. They'll know you're waking up. And feed you a whole bunch of poison food. You understand what I'm saying? Yo, people don't love you no more, bro. Serious as fuck, my nigga. I hate to break it to you like that. If you are a chosen one, or if you have anointing of your life, are you supposed to do something? Nine times out of ten, they already looked in your Akashic records. They already looked in your... And they know it. So they're going to do whatever they can to hold you back from it. Dry fast. ASAP, bro. Dry fast. Dry fast. Dry fast. Dry fast. AKA. No water. No food. No nothing. For as long as you can go. And then go longer than that. If you look up dry fast, it helps with your astral projecting. It helps with your... It just has a whole bunch of benefits, bro. Digestion. Helps raise your vibration. Helps with your aura. You just have to be really careful, my dude. Because look, I was started waking up last year, you feel me? Like I said, I'm not all the way awake. I'm just playing, but, <laughs> but you feel me? I started waking up last year, you feel me? And everybody around me was just trying to trap me, bro. They all were trying to keep me asleep. They all were trying to do their part and to keep me asleep. You understand me? Yeah, get you some candles too, nigga. Bring y'all out some candles. Don't be scared. Don't be let me listen to them talking about nigga black magic bullshit and all this extra shit. Don't don't let them don't it's your intent. Don't let burn you some protection candles, nigga. Keep them motherfuckers lit. You understand know what I'm saying? Near you, bro. Get you some incense, nigga. Order you some crystals and shit like that. You feel me? Anyway, I'm about to give me this. I got this white. Go to uh, beyond5d.com or some shit like that. Go look up the channel Beyond 5D. And go look up, bro. They got this white owl uh, crystal quartz, bro. It's like $43. I'm about to order that. It's like an owl, but it's like clear quartz. It's dope. It's a ring. They got a tiger eye ring. Actually, I'm going to get the tiger eye ring first. That's the one I'm supposed to have this year. Tiger eye. It's like $43. It's clean as fuck. It's an index finger ring. I'm going to get that bitch. Like heart. Put them all together. What do you have? Captain Planet. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get the heart. I'm going to get that right. You feel me? That's what I got for niggas. That's what they had. I bring the heart into it. You feel what I'm saying? That's what they hate me. That's my power. That was me on Captain Planet. Heart. That's me. You feel me? My love. Bro, like my nigga said, Rashad, say, how can you have an enemy when you got love? When you got heart? What can they? How? Because niggas, he want to kill you. You hit him with that heart. And his ass is good now. He want to hug. He want to smoke. You feel me? He want to pop. You feel what I'm saying? He want to have fun. You feel what I'm saying? But anyway, back to back to it. I'm, I'm being stupid, though. But seriously. um, Bro, they don't have your best interest, my dude. I ain't going to call all of them jealous or envious. I'm not going to say that because that's going a little too far. I can't tell your intention on your inside. I mean, that's your intention. I can't tell why. You feel me? I'm not going to put that on you. But for a fact, I know you did it. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I know you did it. Because I'm awake, bro. I know you did it. I, I know you know what's going on. You know some foolish is going on. So you tried to put me back in the box. And you won't admit it. And you're weak for that. You understand what I'm saying? You're weak. Now, if you just seen a lady walk by, that's my mom. But that's what I'm talking about. But it's like... um, That's weak, bro. You got your hand in the cookie jar. On whatever level, I always say this too, my dude. If it's good, if it's bad, and how could it be good if a motherfucker wants you to stay asleep? How can that be good? How can that be good? Explain to me how staying, trying to keep me asleep is good. When I'm like, I always try to ask, I go back and forth for myself all the time. Like, maybe it's, maybe it's for my greatest good. But I'm like, how the fuck can it be good, nigga, staying at work 12 hours a day? Taking a shot and going to church, nigga, every Sunday. 
How is that for my greatest good? When you know I'm more powerful than when you know for a fact, nigga, I have a calling on anointing on my life, nigga. You know how I know she knows? Because in her church, there was an organ, there was an organ player, an old guy that was like his hands, the look he had in his eyes, nigga, when he looked at my hands, nigga, and he looked at her. She knows my hands are anointed. She knows it for a fact. I remember. She remembers. Why she never came and talked to me about it. She knows what the hell that's what I'm trying to say, my nigga. I know she knows. Yeah, lady, you just saw walk by right there. I know she knows for a fact. Cause we both were standing there. And I was so irritated that she had me that I'm like, bro, while we leave, that's how I know. And she was looking right at me. I'm looking like I'm looking annoyed as fuck. I'm, I was younger. I'm like, bro, can I go home? I was fat and shit. I'm like, can I go play the PlayStation, bro? I didn't want to come to church anyway. My soul was like, bro, this shit is whack. I don't want to be here. This is fake. My soul knew this shit, bro. You feel me? But didn't have the audacity to try to get mad at me, bro. You are not that person, bro. That moment, bro, I'm trying to tell you, bro, like, yo, your image of people is going to get destroyed, bro. And it's going to hurt. I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to hurt. You're going to start just not giving a fuck. You're going to start like, she's going to be the most Christianist person. You're going to light a blunt right in her fucking living room, nigga. And just be smoking. Nigga, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, you, I'm trying to tell you, my nigga, it's, it's going to get like that. And that's dis It's not disrespectful, but it's just like, bro, I don't give a fuck. I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Leave me alone. You understand what I'm saying? Like, bro, you're not telling me the truth. You don't have no say-so on what I'm doing. I don't give a fuck. I don't care where it's at. You don't have a say-so. You're not telling me the truth. And I know you know I'm smoking. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I, I just gave that as an example. You feel what I'm trying to say? I ain't gonna lie. I hear this one or twice and I'll put it out. You feel me? But that's just why I've been smoking lately. But if I smoked a whole bunch, that bitch would be all smoke. You feel me? But I ain't got a lot of weed left. So we got to keep that on the low. But look, I see a jar kind of low, jar kind of low. You feel me? Jar kind of low. But no, I still wouldn't do that like that. I, I just smoke it, hit it twice, put it out. You feel me? But anyway, um, you have to be aware bro because if you keep getting any say it's retrograde right now still going on it's still retrograde you understand what i'm saying so be aware of people trying to spin the block nigga and try to act like it's all cool nigga if they haven't you feel me even if they've been there for you people act like they care squat because they're doing shit on you bro if people that you ain't been cool with come to me are you okay are you doing okay it's to see if the goddamn spell work is working nigga it's not to see. It's not to see if you're truly okay. They don't give a fuck. Cause if they gave a fuck, nigga, why won't they fucking? You feel me? Why don't you go talk to me on a regular day? Why are you talking to me in a retrograde? Why are you asking? Why are you asking for shit? I got into it today, nigga. And shit. And then every time I get into it, nigga, my ex-wife always asks me, "Hey, are you okay? You okay?" It's like, bro, like you don't think I? Come on, my nigga, like, bro, I see right through that, bro. But you got to keep your spirits high, your vibration high, bro. That's the only way you finna beat them niggas, bro. I'm trying to tell you. That's the only way you'll be able to keep seeing them, too. If you start vibing low and start doing shit like, you feel me, like they do, start plotting on them or start wishing shit. Like, like say I'm burning these candles and I think some evil shit, which I'm not. Nigga, that, that's fucking my shit off. You can be a victim, my nigga. And if you start doing retaliating on that type of level, you will put yourself in the same boat they in. And you just trying to protect yourself. So that's why I say don't attack them. Protect yourself, burn your candles, call on your ancestors, call on your spirit guides, call on your archangels, whoever you need to call on. That's, you feel me? That protect you. And nigga, have them say whatever y'all see for it. Yo, whatever y'all see fit, do it. In the protection realm. Nigga, you know what I'm saying, bro? You feel me? But if they still tripping, attack their finances. You understand what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Take that money away. You understand what I'm saying? Like, bro. The fuck you talking about? How you gonna war without no money? You feel what I'm saying? That don't make no sense. You feel me? Well, nigga, it's just like, bro, like, I don't get it, bro. I really don't get it. I'm being, I'm being honest as fuck. Cause you know they're doing shit to take. You know they're doing spells to kill you. They're doing spells to hinder your love life. They're doing spells to hinder your money. They're doing money spells, bro. Believe you me, they're doing money spells on you, bro. They want to keep you right where you're at. 
You know what I'm saying? Because they know you know the truth. They don't want the truth to get out. They don't want to look bad. But they already look shitty. You understand what I'm saying? They already look like a piece of shit. And I'll, I'll go back and forth. I'm going to be honest with you. I'll go back and forth to be like, I ain't going to lie. Because I'm not. I'm a cancer. I'm a cancer, moon, Virgo. I mean, I'm a cancer sun, Virgo moon, and uh, a Capricorn rising, right? So I, I always try to give a motherfucker the benefit of the doubt. I always do. I go back and forth. I, always, I still, to this day, I try to go and give me the foul. But I'm like, bro, how can I give you the benefit of the doubt, bro, when you know when you know shit my whole life and you never told me anything? When you know I know, you act like nothing. When I confront you with some information, you don't talk about it. How can I give you the benefit of the doubt? That's why I just throw you to the enemy side. And I treat you like a op. You feel me? That's just what it is, my dude. You feel me? And another thing, you gotta you gotta develop your third eye, bro. Cause that's the only way you're gonna be able to cut through that bullshit. Cause they're gonna lie to you, bro. They're gonna try to use their age. Bro, I got it too with my mom. She was in the wrong, my nigga. All the way. All the way in the wrong, bro. And you know what the her nerve she had to tell me? Elderly abuse. How do they abuse? Nigga, shut, shut, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Nigga, like, hey, I'm serious. Like, you want to put that on me? You really want to put that on So what if I call... Okay. Elderly abuse? Well, you know your son got molested and you didn't do nothing about it. How about that? Chomo. You feel me? You protected chomos, nigga. So you a chomo, nigga. How about that? You feel me? Chomo, nigga. You feel me? I'm just saying, bro. I didn't do no goddamn elderly abuse going on, my nigga. But I'm just saying, my nigga. You feel me? You covering up for a chomo. You feel me? You trying to keep your son asleep. You ain't uprising. You ain't uplifting your son. You ain't giving him information so he can wake up. You're not doing none of that. But you got the nerve to open your body, your dick suckers to me. That's why I talk like this now. I never used to talk like this, bro. Never. Never. Even if I felt this way, nigga, I never said it. But now I don't give a fuck. I'm the truth, nigga. I'm going to say whatever I fucking feel like. That's within reason. I always don't just say this, you feel me, like, come left and just don't have any kind of fuel behind it. Let me say that first and foremost. I don't just come on saying allegations without any type of backpack. I don't do that. But if I come to you before I come to this camera and I try to give you a chance to clear it up and you look at me like you don't have to, I'm going to air this shit out. You think you're too good for me? Okay, you want to talk about these allegations sometime. I guarantee you, the cold thing about it is, these people think they're going to escape me. You hear me? These people think they're going to escape me. You have to come see me. In this life or the next. Even in death, you have to come see me. Cancer house is what house? What house is cancer house? Death, nigga. You have to come see me. That's why I laugh about everything they do here. You're going to see me again, bro. It's going to be on my terms. And it's not going to be so pleasant. I promise you. Word is bond. Listen to me. I don't play about my spirituality, bro. I don't just say shit. I don't lie on it. I don't do that shit, bro. I promise you. You're going to see me again. And you're going to wish to God you would have did me better. And that's all my soul. That's all my soul tribe. Because I'm not going to show mercy. I promise you.
I tried to show them mercy here. They spit on me. Well, know who you are, my people. Realize your power. And if they have the upper hand right now, let them have it. They're stupid. They want the upper hand here. A drop in the bucket. What's the, mo what's the most you're going to get here? A hundred years? What the fuck is a hundred years? Time's not real. What is that? You have to come around the block, homie. And you're going to pay for everything you've done. Even if you die, ain't that a bitch? Even if you die, you can't escape me. Even if you die before me, you can't escape me. Doesn't that suck? And you think I'm gonna forget? You think my people are gonna forget? What you did? And what you part of? I promise you, you're already green lit, bro. You're already green lit in the spiritual, bro. I promise you, you're already, you're already green lit. She already heard what's looking for her. What came out of me? She knows what the fuck I'm talking about. They want her. They want her. She can't sleep, bro. She can't sleep. She drinks. She can't sleep, bro. She up all night listening. She can't sleep because she knows what's waiting for her. She knows it. She knows it, bro. And I'm here to tell you that they really are waiting on you. I promise you, they really are. Believe me or not, you don't have to, that's fine. But have I, I don't lie on my spirituality, so. Everything I say comes to fruition, everything. You don't think that will? Well, she's hoping it won't, but her and a few other people. Well, that concludes our night yard. And um, please be self-aware, please understand that the person that laughs last, laughs hardest. You feel me? Please, you have to understand that, bro. You might have your foot. You think you have your foot, your foot on someone's neck over here. You think you have them right where you want a person, whoever. But you're positioning yourself into a bigger trap. But you already positioned it. You feel me? You have to be, bro. Self-awareness, my dude. Okay? I love y'all. Please be safe. Use your own brain. Go within. Take all the labels off. And don't be scared to let someone go and just get what they deserve. I kept trying to protect these people at first. You feel me? That was my problem. I kept trying to step in the way. Hey, you want to? I stepped out the fucking way. And I tapped in. Like, okay, what's about to happen? Ooh, shit. You know what? Okay. I'm out the way now. Cool. I love y'all. Have a good night.